Smart Parenting fam! Welcome to another episode of Smart Parenting's Guide to Preschools in Metro Manila. We're here at Abbas Orchard, a Maria Montessori school, and I'm so excited for Sandra to try it out. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go! The Abbas Orchard, a Maria Montessori preschool, is located here in San Juan City. We visited this branch in Greenhouse that caters to children aged 3 all the way to 12. But they have a total of 14 campuses all over the country, with their full campuses who welcome children from 14 months all the way to 18 years of age. Hello, sir. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us here at Smart Parenting. Can you give us a brief history of the Abbas Orchard? The Abbas Orchard started back in 1999 in Bukidnon. My mom, when she had me and my older brother, we were going to a Montessori school here in Manila. But then because of my dad's job, and we had to move to Bukidnon, and there were no Montessori schools. And so, faced with the challenge that there are no Montessori schools, she decided to put her own school up. The Montessori approach developed by Dr. Maria Montessori is rooted in observing and nurturing the natural development of children. Montessori's unique approach prioritizes observation and child-centric learning. And the reason that it's um, so pivotal is because Dr. Montessori observed that children are different from how society used to view them, am I right? Is that... Um... Yeah, society used to think that children are blank slates mm -hmm. or empty vessels that I'm one has that. to be filled in. But she realized that no, children are born with potentiality. Mm -hmm. They have this inner guide that drives them to develop. And what we need to do as adults in society is to identify this inner guide and support that growth and not get in the way. Montessori classroom is very different from the traditional classrooms I think Filipinos are accustomed to. Why is the Montessori classroom at these ages built this way? Montessori understood that from birth we're very sensorial learners. So what she did was she took abstract concepts like length or weight or size and turned them into concrete materials. Mm -hmm. And there are certain material designs that allow just an isolation of one particular aspect that we show. But that's very important for a child's understanding of the world. In terms of the classroom environment, we have mixed ages. In the younger class, where we have children ages 3 to 6, they're more individual. Montessori learned that development is not linear. Mm -hmm. and that the psychology and the developmental needs of children are actually different at each stage of growth. So she identified four stages of growth. We call them in Montessori four planes of development, 0 to 6, 6 to 12, 12 to 18, and 18 to 24. Mm -hmm. These are the developmental years of the human being. Based on a study conducted by the founder of Abbas Orchard, children who started Montessori learning at age 3 were nine times more likely to pass the college entrance exams of the top schools in the country. And that's just intellect. So the data proves that the longer you stay in Montessori, the better it is for you intellectually. Mm -hmm. There are other studies in the States that ask children to answer tests at around the grade 5, grade 6 level. Mm -hmm. But then they were asked then at a certain reg uh, regular intervals of their test to jot down what they were feeling. Their scores were at par between the traditional schoolers and the Montessori children, they scored the same. Mm -hmm. What was different was their attitude. Mm -hmm. The Montessori children were enjoying taking the test mm -hmm. because it was actually assessing themselves and what they know and what they don't know right. as a method of, for them to understand, oh, I still can learn more about right. that. Right. As opposed to those who are in traditional schools who are stressed whenever they they're- just need to pass a test. Exactly. <laughs> Not understanding what it's for yes. or uh, what the relevance of it is. Right. In our CASA programs, we have 25 children to two adults. Mm -hmm. and the two adults will always be one trained guide, someone who's done our in-house training, mm -hmm. and someone in a classroom assist. Mm -hmm. 
who's there to support the main guy mm -hmm. in watching over the children. And do they have assignments after school? One normally is used to in traditional schools fully encourage the children are things that they were working on in school but want to continue at home. For example, if they're doing a family tree in school or they're reading a book, they would actually say, can I take this book home and read? But more than that, we encourage families and the children to take part in the daily lives of their in the household, mm -hmm. to do chores, to contribute, to yes. set up the table, sort laundry, fold laundry when they're capable, just so they get this, the experience of what it is to be part yes. of the household. Yes. It's more of a challenge here in the Philippines yes. where we have an agriculture. Yes. And usually think these things just get relegated to third party. In the earlier years, this is just as important as your other concepts like cleaning up after yourself arranging your area or mm -hmm. putting things back the way they were yes. is just as important for example as learning your name or learning your basic information about yourself yeah it has to be part of being human especially if we are very serious about sustainability and taking care of the environment that we're in it's one way we show respect to other people by making sure that the material is ready for the next person to use yes. because it was ready for you to you, use yes. when it was there. So there's a morality to it. As a product of the Montessori method, seeing Abba's orchard setup and materials brought back happy memories. I saw many of the same sensorial materials which kids enjoyed using. Allowing kids to explore and learn at their own pace, especially at a young age, is an easier transition from home. I love that kids are free to move, to decide, and to be curious. And there's also time to learn together with others. Sandra? Hey! Hey! Okay, Sandra, how was school in the Abbas Orchard? Good! Good! Do you remember some of the stuff that you did? Yeah. Okay, can you tell me? Uh, yeah. Drawing. Okay, what else? Is it something you walk through? Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, which one? Baby door. The baby door. That's it for today's video. For more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to Smart Parenting's YouTube channel. Bye!